You can sell anything. Sell, sell, anything. sell me this fucking pen right here. Sell me that pen. Can I finish eating first? I need to eat. Brad, yeah. show him how it's done. Boom. Let me sell this fucking pen. That's my boy right there. This pen. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you name down that napkin for me? I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. hoo -ha! Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying in baseball! Run, Forrest, run! And there was Anthony Stabile, Frankie Carbone, Mo Black's brother, Fat Andy, and his guys, Frankie the Wild, Freddie No Nose, Nicky Eyes, and Mikey Franchese, and Jimmy Two Times, who got that nickname because he said everything twice, like, I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. Yeah. My balls, excuse my French, are in an iron vice. Corporate, twisting and squeezing like a bunch of dominatrixes on steroids. How long until your balls get totally squished? Hopefully never. I'm really rather attached to my balls. about me, what do I do? Do I just stand here like an object? No. You do an eclectic celebration of the dance. You do fussy, fussy, fussy. You do Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. If you've ever wondered where your dreams come from, you look around. This is where they're made. A party for the bankers. Who are they? with people, I think. The ones Countess Olenska is staying with. Professor and Mrs. Emerson certain request the pleasure Wednesday afternoon club at 3 o'clock punctually to meet Mrs. and the Mrs. Lepka, Red Gables, Catherine Street. I don't think we can decline. Wait a minute. What could you say? Who made him? God must have been a fucking genius. The only one who could do what I do is me. You want to be me? You know, if I had your job, I'd kill myself. I don't want to live the way you live. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants to be us. You know what he's doing? He's good cop, bad cop on us. He knows I'm old guard. You're fringe. He's going to bear down on me and soft soap you. It was a bullet. A bullet? That jumped up and bit you. Yes, sir. Bit me directly in the buttocks. They said it was a million dollar wound, but the army must keep that money because I still ain't seen a nickel that million dollars. The two greatest things in life. Well, never ran on your friends. And always keep your mouth shut. You show me a pay stuff for seventy two thousand dollars something, I quit my job right now and I work for you. Hey, Paulie, what's up? No, yeah, you're not. Everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit.